kids are swinging into the summer with a few safety tips while having fun at the park. Firefighters are sliding into the new year with a new fire station and a bigger paycheck. Water and dirt just doesn't mix, especially when it's coming off your faucet like this. We hear residents are dealing with another round of water woes. This is the exact seat that the five-year-old was located in after being left on this bus for five hours. Authorities transported her to a nearby hospital where she later died. Drivers are fed up with traffic congestion near the Louisiana and Texas state line. The Department of Transportation says it can take up to six years for repairs. Just after 8.20 p.m. Wednesday night, a Shreveport police officer was gunned down here in the 1600 block of Midway Avenue. Every life is precious, and the taking of any human life is unacceptable. But when a servant who has taken an oath and committed their life to protecting others is violently taken from us, we all collectively feel the pain of that law. She was a uninformed officer in a police uniform preparing to work her shift on patrol. We have a number of investigators from the police department, from the fire department, from neighboring agencies at the crime scene as we speak, uh, continually investigating. So it's, it's too early to know exactly um, what the cause of this tragic murder was. After a week-long investigation, Shreveport police now have three men behind bars. Officer Payne's boyfriend, Travion Anderson, his cousin, Lawrence Pierre II, and their friend, Glenn Frosson. All three men have been charged with second-degree murder and is expected to go before the judge this week. Timmy Lane, RSHV News 1. Shreveport police are now investigating a fatal accident involving a teen versus a train. Thursday around 3.12 p.m., that's when Shreveport Police and Fire Department responded to the scene where the teen was struck and killed. According to police, 17-year-old Jeremy Williams was walking with a friend on the Union Pacific Railroad tracks north of the 500 block of Janet Lane. She respond to the 500 block of Janet in reference to a vehicle, I mean, I'm sorry, a train versus pedestrian. Uh, the fire department arrived on scene. The pedestrian has been uh, announced deceased on scene, and our hit-and-run investigators are out to the scene to interview witnesses. Sadly, Williams was struck by the train which he died on the scene. Caterpillar's coroner's office were called to the scene to collect Williams' body. He was taken to a crime scene lab where an autopsy was performed. Our investigators are still interviewing witnesses right now. Williams and his friends were headed to his grandmother's house just before his life ended early. This tragic loss has left family and friends devastated. Respectfully, Union Pacific have reached out to Williams' family to offer their condolences and help with burial expenses. Timmy Lane, RSHV News 1. 